one. Hello, church family. My name is Stanisha Scott, and thank you so much for joining us for Christian Home and Marriage Week. This is our last devotional to be posted for this week, but I pray that you've been blessed and inspired to continue setting aside devotional time within your home based on your family dynamics. Since we are closing out the week on Christian Home Day, this devotional has an emphasis on parenting, parenting. And you can find many more inspirational devotionals on crosswalk.com. So the title of this devotion is Bad Company. So the scripture comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 33. It says, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. So every parent is under terrible pressure in today's fast paced culture. The demands of jobs, maintaining a house, keeping up with financial commitments, church responsibilities, and trying to raise a family keep us running at breakneck speed. It says, as a result, too many kids are regularly left at home to care for themselves. And according to the U.S. Census Bureau, 41% of children are between the ages of 12 to 14. So it's no wonder that we are sometimes barely aware of what our children are doing day to day. In an immoral culture, that can be disastrous. Catch this, lonely and energetic adolescents in this situation are especially vulnerable to the worldly influence of peers. Their need for acceptance by friends at this time is overwhelming. To protect your children from these potential dangers, we urge you to stay close to them. Here are a few tips that are given to protect them. So know who their friends are. Have them over for dinner or a family activity. Perhaps COVID uh, will need you to uh, rearrange some things and be a little bit more creative to connect safely. So perhaps Zoom doing a brunch would be an adequate replacement. Talk to your kids about your spiritual beliefs and values. Explain the impact of peer pressure and how difficult it can be to go against the wishes of the group. So be transparent about your experience to help obtain that rapport that may be very well necessary to connect with your children. Then remind them of God's position in Romans 12, 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Dr. Dobson closes by noting that your encouragement, your encouragement, parents, your encouragement, mom, your encouragement, dad, not YouTube's encouragement, not Facebook's encouragement, come on somebody, your encouragement at this critical time can help assure good character in your kids, no matter what company they keep. So before you say goodnight, during the little downtime you may have, reflect on these questions. How well do you know your children's friends? How can you initiate conversations to get to know them? How much unsupervised time do your kids have each week? I would even add, what are they doing, saying, playing, or engaging in on their phones, computers, or other devices? Change is often required for growth family. I pray that God will convict our hearts and minds to be attentive to our homes from this day forward in order to protect our precious children that have been entrusted into our care. So before 
we go. Let's pray. Bow your heads with me if you have a moment. Our God, we want to encourage our children as they enter the difficult years of adolescence. Grant us the wisdom to guide and lead them with eternity's values in mind and to show that your acceptance is all we ever need. Amen. Be blessed, church family.